maragsakan ako manin nga mga idanan kada kayo ito may isang uh, video uh, ita kada kayo nga kakabsat ko uh, gaman ako na iti kasta nga uh, panang uh, follow you kada iti nga uh, videos tayo kaya na dagijay <coughs> French me nga uh, who have newly subscribed iti na iti nga uh, YouTube channel tayo uh, you're welcome and uh, it's our purpose and desire and prayer uh, dagiti nga uh, videos nga may kabkabil tayo dito may upload tayo dito yan ti YouTube channel tayo kaya nagbalin nga uh, uh, spiritual nga blessing iti tumunggal may sakala tayo para iti uh, exhortation ken edification iti tumunggal may sakala tayo so <clears throat> again uh, iti dating nga uh, may isang nga video tayo kahit kahit kung nga idanon kada kayo iti may isang nga mensahe nga napauluan iti the apostles doctrine yan so uh, we'll be talking about the apostles doctrine uh, what it is can uh, as we uh, what is what it is for anya ti anya ba dai ti apostles doctrine nya ba ti para saan ba dai toy and uh nagay duduan pa nga baling nga ma-discuss toy dito eh so iti text tayo will be on uh, Acts chapter 2 uh, verse 42 and uh nandito po sa ating uh, <coughs> uh projector it says there, and they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, and in breaking of bread and in prayers. So we will we will not uh, have uh, much time. Hante yung mabalin nga mapag may may sang ay discuss amin dagito eh. Fellowship and breaking of bread. But uh, today's uh, <coughs> message will be focused on the apostles. Doctrine. So that is Acts chapter two, uh, the, the <coughs> beginning of the early church in the Jerusalem church. Kabsat, uh, makita yung kabsat there after nga dagijay believers were empowered, uh, rinumwarda in the streets and started to preach. Uh, Peter preached one sermon, and the uh, multitudes got saved that day. And then uh, uh, we see them continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, fellowship, and breaking of bread. So, <clears throat> uh, what is the apostles' doctrine? First, uh, the apostles are the apostles of Jesus Christ. To identify them, kadagijay the two mga apostles nga na mention ni jay Bible. So the the word. Apostles came from the Greek word apostolos, and it is used um, in different uh, meaning and usage website in the scriptures. Uh, at least we can identify three in the New Testament. Uh, Jesus Christ Himself is the apostle of this new covenant, and uh, <clears throat> we can see some um, apostles of the church also. Uh, uh, for example, kabsad ay uh, Christians who have been sent by the church to do some business. Uh, when Apostle Paul is in need, ijay Rome kabsad, the church of Corinth sent someone to uh, send Epaphroditus uh, to give supplies to Apostle Paul. And the term used there is apostolos. So, <clears throat> of course, to identify the apostles, the apostles' doctrine, it is the apostles of Jesus Christ. So, the apostolos simply mean a messenger or a special delegate. He is a missionary or someone sent in the stead of a person bearing the person and authority of the one who sent him. So, we makita tayo kabsaid. Uh, the Lord Jesus Christ is the apostle of this new covenant in the book of Hebrews because he came here to bring God to mankind. Yeah? To bring the Father to mankind. So the Lord Jesus Christ says, when you see me, you see the Father because I am in the bosom of the Father. Yeah? And when he sent his apostles, 
He sent the 12 apostles. He sent them with full authority of him. We see even Apostle Paul. So, nga uh, dagiti nga apostles tayo kabusayt. Kaya uh, intend niya po kanakwada pa iti, iti panakabalin to raise the dead, to do miracles, all kinds of miracles kabusayt uh, as an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pero siyempre, sa panahon natin ngayon ay wala na because the last apostle is John the Baptist and Apostle Paul uh, was called in due time also. And uh, wala na pong apostles of Jesus Christ. Nalpasity ministry dan comes out. But we, we also see the word apostolos used uh, to describe a ministry uh, of someone who is being sent in behalf of the church. Like again, Epaphroditus who brought goods and message from <coughs> the local church to Apostle Paul in Rome. So, <coughs> see, he's an apostolos of the church. Yeah. Now, uh, sabi ko mata, maawatan to yung So, the apostles, ng pagbagana to are the apostles of Jesus Christ. They have this doctrine. So, ano yung doctrine nila? Doctrine here simply, di pagbagana, the doctrine nito, yung is not a theological system or a theological framework. But the, the word doctrine simply means teaching here. So, teachings of the apostles. The teachings of the apostles dito ikabsat are the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. The sursuru ni apu tayo ng Heso Kristo. Yes, it, it became the apostles' doctrine because it was entrusted to them na ited kadakwada <coughs> with the commission, with the duty ikabsat to bring these teachings to whoever believes in Christ. And they have fully accomplished their call. They have fully accomplished their mission to be an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> so now, uh, hopefully, I naawatan tayo kamsahid, hindi kaya nang asawin ni title tayo, The Apostles Doctrine. And I would like to give three uh, points, kabsat, uh, main headings, iti daito yung kabsat, nga theme tayo, uh, iti daito yung uh, lesson tayo. And first of this is, the Apostles' Doctrine is, number one, is the true believer's desire. It is the true believer's desire. In our text, uh, a while ago, in Acts chapter 2, verse 42, the Bible says, and they continued steadfastly. So the word steadfastly there has something to tell to us. We can see here, no kasano nga dagijay namati, who heard the preaching of the Christians and Apostle Peter and the other apostles of the Lord Jesus Christ who adhered to the message of salvation in Christ by faith. Those who were converted into Christianity, into the faith of Christ, have continued steadfastly. So this is... Uh, uh, a very important mark of a true believer. He has a desire, a desire for apostles' doctrine. Yeah? Not, not just fellowship, not just uh, company, uh, not just that a person wants in an organization or in a group or in a peer, uh, but it is the apostles' doctrine. You see that uh, many people wanted to join the church because of the things that they wanted uh, to experience in the church, to have in the church. Nagibanbanag nga kaya't dakabsad nga magunudan in the church like ethics, morality, uh, things like that. Very nice, very good. Nagmayat, importante na gijay nga banag. Ngayon, numamiss tayo kabsad iti Apostles' Doctrine. Yeah. Awan iti sirbi na amin na gijay. And many people, adoy tita tao kami sa ating umay to church because they want to gain some good things in the Christian faith, in the Christian church. Ngayon mga kami sa ating, when you give them doctrines, they started to be disappointed. They wanted to hate the church because first of all, they have not known the Lord. And they don't want the doctrines of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, see? See? A very good example to that, the Pharisees, 
The Pharisees uh, wants the moral things in the teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ. They want the teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ uh, when it comes to the uh, moral and the uh, banbanag that it is applicable uh, in obtaining uh, a, a moral life. But when the Lord Jesus Christ declares himself to be the Messiah, and when the Lord Jesus Christ proclaims to them that they are sinners and they are in need of a Savior, that their morality is not sufficient, uh, it's not even acceptable before God, apart from faith in Christ, they started to be offended and started to turn their back from the Lord Jesus Christ. So you see, the Gitting Absat Nga Doctrine, the Apostles' Doctrine is a, a very important mark for a true convert a true believer of the Lord Jesus Christ. He will have this desire for the Apostles' Doctrine. And uh, number two, and I would like to bring us uh, at this moment, is uh, the truth that the Apostles' Doctrine is the true beliefs defined. It is the true beliefs dis defined. <clears throat> Uh, when we talk about the beliefs of the Christian church, uh, when we talk about the authority and uh, the doctrines of the, the, the Christian local church, it is defined in the apostles' doctrine. Pastor, do you mean uh, the Old Testament is not included in the Christian church? No, that is, that's not the point, and that will never be the point, Kamsat. You can see Kabsat nga when the apostles preach they use Old Testament scriptures. So the meaning is <clears throat> uh, by the apostles' doctrine we become to understand the true meaning of the Old Testament of the scriptures. By the apostles' doctrine Kabsat we can come into one conclusion or one interpretation of all of scriptures. Yeah? Uh, we see, Kabsat, that uh, many Christian denominations today seem uh, nabannugdan, Kabsat, nga agadal iti sasa ni Apo Diyos. And so, they have created uh, their own uh, platforms to build their beliefs and local churches to make them comfortable and appear like they are biblical but they have truly forsaken the apostles doctrines so when it comes to the beliefs and practices of uh, the Christian and the Christian church it has to be founded in the apostles doctrines so here in Galatians chapter 1 verse 8, nakita no, nito yung kabsa di Galatians chapter 1 verse 8. Kuna na to but though we take note that yung a we kabsa or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. So the pronoun we here is none other but the apostles. Apostle Paul is referring to the apostles. There is uh, <clears throat> uh, a teaching that is called hyperdispensationalism. dispensationalism In sina da kabsait ni Apostle Paul from the other apostles. Yeah. Unada dagi teaching ni ni John, ni Peter, ni Luke. Inarami da pang apostle ni Luke. When Luke is a company of Apostle Paul kabsat in his missionary journey and he's the one who recorded Apostle Paul's missionary journeys. So, kung nadadagi teachings ni Peter and the other apostles, kaya tanin nga applicable in the local church. Yeah? That is a crazy teaching kabsat. Now, the Bible says, Apostle Paul says, we, that is the apostles, sabi niya, kung meron mang katuruan Nagaling sa amin mga apostles or sino man angels from heaven 
preach any other gospel than that which we have preached. Again, the apostles, the apostles' doctrine that they have already preached, come side. Let him be a curse. Yeah? So, the apostles' doctrine. AJ, 1 John chapter 1, verse 1 to 4. Let us check another verse here from 1 John chapter 1, verse 1 to 4. Again, John says, that which was from the beginning, which we have heard, again, the pronoun we, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon in our hands, have handled of the word of life. For the life was manifested, and we have seen it, and bear witness, and shew unto you that eternal life, which was with the Father, and was manifested unto us. Again, us here refers, John is referring to the apostles. That which we have seen and heard declare we unto you, that ye also may have fellowship with us, and truly our fellowship is with the Father and with the Son, with His Son, Jesus Christ, and these things write we unto you, that your joy may be full. Again, the apostles. So the apostles' teachings, apostles' doctrine. Another verse comes said in First John chapter 4, verse 6. It says, we are of God. So again, John is talking about the witness of the apostles. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us, heareth the apostles, the apostles' doctrines. He that is not of God heareth not us, hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. So the we here refers to the believers. It says, paano nyo malalaman kung ano yung doctrines? Spirit here means doctrines. Kung ano yung katuruan na tama at kung anong katuruan na mali, sabi niya, uh, you base on the apostles' doctrine. The things that we, the apostles, have established. The doctrines of the apostles, the doctrine of our Lord Jesus Christ. So see, comes that uh, the, the beliefs of the Christian church, comes that, is defined in the apostles' doctrine. We can identify errors, comes that, uh, <coughs> No dagita kabsat ket surusuro lang iti tat tao and it's not even taught by the apostles. They don't have authority. They must not equal the authority of the apostles' doctrine kabsat. Ah, may salang tagbarin nga correct. It's either the apostles or dagiti kabsat nga extra revelations that comes from ah people ito tanga panawen tayo kabsat. But of course we know. Nga nanyaman iti agtali na ed, kaya nanyaman iti mang define iti doktrina, kaya practices tayo, kabsahit, is the apostles' doctrine. And maudi, kabsahit. Maudi is the believer's development. So, ang kumuno maawatan yung point, ijay outline tayo, kahit ko lang agbalin nga alliterated, kabsahit. The believer's development. In Ephesians chapter 2, verse 20, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the cornerstone. So the apostles' foundation is the Lord Jesus Christ. It makes a being their teachings comes from the Lord Jesus Christ. It is the doctrines, the teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ, their foundation. In Jude chapter 1, verse 20, um, But we, beloved, but ye, beloved, building up yourselves in your most holy faith, Praying in the Holy Ghost. Most holy faith upside is the beliefs uh, that comes from the scriptures, that comes from the teaching of the apostles. So indeed, kabsaid, awanin kabsaid iti uh, pag-abaydan tayo to be safe, awanin iti pag-abaydan tayo to grow, to be built upon by, by the teaching of the apostles. And again, this is a mark of a true convert. He will persevere and he will desire the apostles' doctrines. So thank you very much and God bless us all.